What is up guys, welcome back to Millennial Coach. If you are new here, I am in South Daniels and welcome to a new video. So once again, we are in my car today, nothing new. We are busy putting together a setup in the house. So hopefully that will be done soon. Let's continue the video in the car. So I hope you enjoy. This video was requested a little while ago by a brand Millennial Couch. You can find them on Instagram. I think it's just at Millennial Couch. And they have requested for me to, to share with you what my tips to get your resume past the ATS. So in today's video, we'll be talking about my three simple ways to get your resume past the ATS. So I've had many people ask me in South, you say ATS, but what does it mean? ATS stands for Applicant Tracking System. So it's very important for you to know what it is and how it works when you are applying for jobs online. So this is the software that recruiters use in order for them to see which applicants that are applying for the jobs is most fit for the position that they are recruiting for so that they don't have to go through hundreds of CVs at a time. So when you see a job posting online that you think is absolutely fit for you, you apply and it goes through an applicant tracking system before it actually gets to the recruiter. The applicant tracking system will see what percentage you match to that job. So if you match and maybe 70%, do you think that the recruiter would look at your profile rather than matching 100%? So today I'm going to take you through my tips on how to match 100% to that applicant tracking system. So the first one is to keep your resume simple. So that is use standard subject headings like work experience, education, you know, in the proper format, of course. Then use a simple template, you know, those nice decent ones without the bar graphs or without the charts avoid unnecessary additional things that would just make the applicant tracking system not know what is in your CV and then try to stick to fonts like Arial or Vidana 12 that is absolutely perfect if you do want a template for that just comment down below and I will be sure to send it to you the next one is to use the correct keywords so each industry has its own unique requirements skills responsibilities and that is what the ATS is looking for so it is a really good idea to match your skills that they are asking for and what is on your CV to that of the job description in order for the ATS and your resume to be a good match the final one is to take the additional fields seriously when they are asking usually when you apply for a job they, they are asking for all the information your education your working experience and then they're still asking you to attach the resume take those fields seriously that is part of the ATS matching don't just comment see resume when they are asking for specific skills or whether you have a driver's license even if you put that information on your resume still make sure that you complete the requirements of the job application process online 100% in order for you to match the ATS and to actually be put forward to the recruiter. So recruiters and myself have gone through hundreds and hundreds of CVs until we introduce the ATS. The ATS it just makes it so simple what I do is I look for the applicants that match 100% and then I just press a button and they will be put forward to the next step. The applicants that match 75%, I also put select a button and that just goes, you know those automated emails that you see where you are not matching the job requirements? That is how easy it is. So these three simple steps will get your resume to match 100% and get you to the recruiter to that next interview. I know it takes time when you do apply online, but this will get you through to the recruiter. I just wanted to touch on the keywords again because that is a really important factor whether you are submitting your resume through the ATS or handing your CV to a recruiter. For example, if you see on the job description you are applying for an HR job as an example, one of the responsibilities would be responsible for recruitment. So make sure that exact thing 
responsibility is on your resume because it will show that you are a match to what it is that they are looking for. For example, in a project management role, it may say responsible for capturing scrum meetings i'm not sure if that, that is the terminology that they use but the point is make sure that on your resume it also says responsible for capturing scrum minutes or something like that the ats is here to stay and you might as well learn how to make it work for you and land that interview so on my website i will be having a more in-depth process of the ats what it looks like and these steps as well as some others to land you that job i will also have for free on my website an ats resume template for you to get right to that recruiter's desk thank you so much for watching let me know if there are any other topics that you would like for me to cover please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to get more tips on how to land that job and get your career to the next level thank you for watching